Rick Ellswit, um, and I am the acoustic guitar department manager here at Bananas at Large, and I'd like to tell you a few things about the Bose L1 compact system for acoustic guitar and voice. And uh, you've probably seen the bigger Bose PA systems. They look like a big stick, and they sound phenomenal, and they take up no space and weigh nothing. And this is the uh, acoustic guitar specialist's stripped down version. Um, first off, what I want to do, uh, Yes, it looks weird. What can I tell you? It looks like the business end of a submarine, but it sounds great. Now it's configurable. So let me show you something first. These separators, here's how you carry the thing, like so. And these go in a pack that's over your, uh, over your shoulder. The whole thing weighs 37 pounds. And uh, you can actually use it like this. You can set it on a stool, and for a small coffee house situation, it's perfect. The tweeters are in here. The subwoofer is uh, in the base unit here. If you're playing something a little bit bigger, you put in the extension. And this gets the tweeters up to where you can hear just a little bit better. It throws 180 degrees. You actually sit in front of it. I promise you, it won't feed back. Um, if you're playing a really big room, and uh, then we get the full extension, and you can scare your friends to death. The big deal about this is how it sounds. Uh, I voted with my wallet, I bought one myself. got the expression system in it. And there's actually a switch on the amp. Here's standard, which sounds real good with my other guitars. If you add this tone match, is what Bose calls it, it's actually EQ to bring out the best in the system. And I've been able to play with this thing in front of a full-on rock and roll band two electric guitars, bass and drums, and a little piano, and it was heard quite clearly. It really has a... trying to get volume that you're pushing it. In fact, it sounds deceptively soft until you get out in front of it. Like I said, you sit in front of it. You can't get it to feed back. I've got this thing up full. And you can shape with it when I really got it pumped up. So for lightness, um, for the ability to cover a room, and just for sheer tone, So, to look under the hood of this guy, uh, you'll see a set of really minimal controls. A couple of volume knobs, two tone controls on the mic channel. So you've got a mic input, bass, treble, and volume. And that's really all you need to get a great mic sound out of this thing. This is your iPod input. If you want to hear some tunes between sets, um, or in my case, some tunes in my living room, I just run the iPod into this. This is your recording in. You can take any digital recorder you've got and use the playback section in here. The recording section is here, so this is your record out. Anything you've got going through this thing appears here. This is your balance line out for using with a PA system in case the wattage isn't quite enough for your gig. Um, we just looked it up. This is 130 watts. Um, the subwoofer is built into this housing. And these are the tweeters. 
This is the Bose L1 compact system, and I'm Rick Ellswood, acoustic guitar manager at Bananas at Large. You really have to play through this thing to appreciate it. You can't get it until you hear it and you're in the same room with it. So we have a showroom in San Rafael and a showroom in Santa Rosa, or you could uh, just look us up online at www.bananasmusic.com.